Well, hello there, chums. It is I, Captain Stephen Exo, and I have been on a bit of a vast journey over the last few days, chums. At the end of this video, I put up some video, oh, some photo images of my adventure to this point. But I have now landed in a system that I feel looks interesting. I haven't scanned any of these planets yet, but look at them! Look at them! They look freaking interesting! And I haven't even landed on them yet, chums. So there's three massive planets. One's a lovely greeny colour. Well, you can see the freaking colours. I don't need to tell you the colours. And there's also an unknown moon. So yeah, we're going to go and discover each and every one of these planets in Laska Yavin! Heck yes! And this is in the NMSA hub. If you want to come to this area of space, I mean, I would have discovered it all by the time you do. But there you go. There's the code in the bottom corner of the screen there. Right, now, let's go and explore. Heck, yes, come on, Anvil of Destiny. Take to the skies, my little yellow ship, demon ship ship. Awesome. Okay, right, so, what planet shall we go to first? I want to go to the moon. There we go, unknown moon. We're going to the moon. Let's go, moon. I'm not even going to scan it, chums. We're going to go in blind. Heck, yes, live life dangerously. Right, okay, so in through the cloud layers. Here we go. Through here. Right, what have we got here? We have got ourselves... Oh, look at that big freaking gorge. That's pretty cool. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous gorge. Right, let's land. Come on. The landing is clear. I can see the landing is very freaking clear. There is nothing there. Awesome. All right, excellent. Right, touching down. And let's hop the out of my ship. You mean ship ship? Even this moon is freaking ace. This is cool. Okay, blistering floods. Nice. Okay, I changed my mind. Okay, I, I don't like blisters. They hurt. Right, let's have a little scan around. I'll tell you what, chums. I am going to investigate this star-bulbed world. And uh, I will reconvene with you and let you know if I find anything of aught. Anything of interest. Oh, chums, I've yes. called this planet Scarred Eden because it has those gorges all over it. It only has six fauna. All of which are land dwelling apart from one airborne. So this guy, I've called him Mellow Yellow, mainly because he has yellow blood, isn't he? Wonderful. Hello there, Mellow Yellow. And we got this guy. Now he sheds skin, and because he's in the air, you know, that's gonna look like frickin' snow. Yeah, you dirty pigeon. Regularly shed skin. So yeah, I called him Sky Flakes. Then we've got this chap who has a unicorn like horn. So yeah, I called him Unicorn Rex. I know. I mean there's so much I could have called him with a tiny brain, but all of them may have offended somebody. So, yeah, I just stuck with the norm. And then we've got this guy here, photosensitive. So I called him camera shy. Look, he doesn't even want to get on the little mini plate in the middle over there. Yeah, I thought they'd fix that. And then I've got this guy, the tongue strider. I love the colours on this guy. And it looks like a tongue coming from his rectum, but it's not. Apparently it's in his mouth. Well... I don't know, actually. Could be either way, couldn't it? You know, it does say monstrous tongue. That could be it, couldn't it, at the back end of him? Who knows? Who knows? But I called him Tongue Strider. And then we've got this guy here. Dislike bright lights. So I called him Gizmo. Oh, look at his little face. Like a little hammerhead cow that he is. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that something... A freaking night. Oh, he's got six legs. I just spotted that. That's that's craziness. Anyway, so yeah, I discovered all six on this planet, chum. So that's Sacred Eden. Let's come out of there. So that's the that's the first planet fully discovered. And like I said, there was a lot of planets that I came by and a lot of systems. And I took a few interesting photos of some of the, some of the things I saw. Not all of them. So yeah, I'll leave you with that at the end of this. But now we're going on to the second planet. Don't you go away. I will let you know when I'm touching down. See you over at the next planet. Heck yes. It has floating islands, which is pretty cool. I'm liking the terrain already. I can't actually tell what sort of biome this is. Before I have landed and it ejected from my ship, it only seems to have rocks on. So there's no sort of flora that's given away its identity. Oh, is that a cactus? It is a cactus. So there is a very low flora on here. But yeah, I've got a feeling this may be a cactus planet of sorts. I mean, a cactus planet without cactuses. Okay, well, let's have a quick look, see? Uh, yeah, cactus flash planet. I was correct. Awesome. Well, this is quite a desolate, desert world. What's that right over there in the distance? Is that just, that's a floating island. I thought it was a creature for a second. That's pretty damn sweet. I love how far you can see on this place. What an empty, vast landscape this is. I just saw a fauna down there, yeah, a little creature. Hello there, little creature. Where are you going in such a hurry? Okay, well, we're going to scan thee. There we go. You saw me find the first creature on this planet. 
Now I'm just going to go around and discover whatever I can. And I'll be right back with you and I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Oh look, there's a Scottish rod just coming over the hill over there. Hello there, Scottish rod. Awesome. I'm seeing a lot of albino Scottish rods just lately, chums. I want this albino as well. But we'll have a better look at him in a bit. There's loads of red blops over there and blips. So yeah, I'm going to go and scan all those blops and blips and I'll be right back with you guys in a bit. Don't you go away. Heck okay, no. that jumps. Well, I've called this planet NMSA Flora Free, and I've found half, half of the fauna on this planet, and I'm not going to find the others. But here we go. Let's start with the top. So we've got Biting Mug. Bite, bite, because he freaking bites. That's why. Heck yes. And then we've got this guy called the Walking Horn. I don't know why I called him that. You know, there's, there's nothing the obviously. Oh, yeah, look, there's a freaking big horn. Bring it on legs. Yeah, so that's why it's called that. Okay, then we've got this guy, Scottish Rod B-Class. As you know, I name all crab creatures Scottish Rod, after my good friend Scottish Rod. And then we've got this guy, Cloramondo. Heck yes, because he has hidden extra claws. I don't think he needs extra claws. Look at him, he's freaking tooled up, this guy. So yeah, that's him. Then we've got this guy. Now he only has one extendable finger. He can only count to one, so there can be only one. Heck yes. And then we've got this guy, Scottish Rod S-Class. And the reason he's an S-Class is it does say up there, Gender Exotic. So as you know, in game, everything that's exotic is S-Class by default. So yeah, he's an S-Class Scottish Rod, but I do like him. I love his textures. He's beautiful. And then we've got this guy. And yeah, it says genetically unstable. He's running free, so I called him unstabled. Yeah, so he's genetically unstabled and unstabled. There we are. So that's that's the creatures I found on this planet. So lovely jubbly. And the rest of them, a lot of them are either underground or in the water, and I can't be asked to go to either of those two locations. So there we go. Planet discovered. Right, so we've got two left to go, jumps. Awesome. I will I'll tell you what. I'm just gonna jump out of my ship, make a little save, and I'm gonna say to you guys, out there in viewer world two more plans to go will you last the full journey <laughs> cool i see well, you this planet the next has planet. got a ring on it and it's got yellowy sort of coppery colored waters i'm wondering if it's going to be gamma or swamp as i'm approaching but we shall see we shall see if we can guess what biome this is from the sky holy fudge and money it's a black and white world well that's uh, that's scuppered me and it looks like it might be fungal from some of these structures or it could be one of these um super exotics the rare biomes okay well let's land let's have a quick look around right okay well this is proper black and white or color or curl so yeah chromatic i think it's a chromatic one yes because you can see just the uh, reds and the tints of red in colors it's like my ship is usually yellow but that's uh, not yellow anymore is it what was that vibration is this got a is this got a no there's something popping around by me i must be one of those hazardous pumpy pumpy uppy plants which I can't freaking see where it is oh there it is it's right there you little git I thought you was a sandworm for a second right okay well let's have a look to see if there are any creatures on this planet well, it says that it's rich in fauna well no frequent okay well let's go to the discoveries page there's 11 to be discovered on this planet chums all right well if I find any interesting creatures on this planet I'll be sure to share them with you okay so I'll be right back with you in a bit don't go away now Heck no. Uh, jumps. We've got a weird creature on this planet that I wanted to share with you quickly. Take a look at this. Take a look at these guys. They're really, really quite cool. I think one of them's about to get murdercated, though, by a giant cat creature. Oh, my days. Look at him. He means freaking business. I've seen this cat creature on a fair few planets now, and I usually call them Thunder Humping Turtle Duck Interloper. They've just got that look about them. I think he's going to tear those to shreds. Let's watch this. Let's see if this plays out how I think it's going to play out. Run, little guy. Run. Um, you're not running all that fast. Then again, this cat creature doesn't seem to be running all that fast either. But there we go. Yep, yeah, that's not going to end nicely. Yeah, you can hear them scream. Brilliant. Okay, well, uh, let's uh, have a look around. What else have we got on this beautiful planet? I can see something moving over here. I just saw something just pop over this hill. It almost looked like it. It is! It's a Diplo! We have Diplos on this world, chums! They're not the biggest variety of Diplo, but there's a Diplo nonetheless. Right, I'm going to go into camera mode. We're going to have a better look at this guy. He's running away. What a shame that it's a chromatic world, though, because you can't see its beautiful coloration. Okay, I don't know what it's doing to that rock, but that rock 
There's a lucky rock. There we are. It's even got stegosaur plating down its back. I, as far as Diplos go, this is quite a good looking Diplo. What a lovely specimen of Diplo this is. I quite like that, even though it's quite small. Oh, look, there's some more over here. I wonder if they've got different heads. No, these have both got the, co the cobra-like heads and the uh, armour plates down their back as well. Oh, there's one of those evil cat creatures about to do them bodily harm. Oh, my days. He's pretending to be a rock. He's behind you. Run, my dear little friend, run. OK, well, there we are. So it has diplos and it has evil cat creatures and it's, it's a black and white world that gets a little bit of colour once a storm hits. How crazy is that? It's got colour again. I've got all my yellow back. Let's have a look at these Diplos in the side of the storm. Let's have a look at what colour they actually are. Oh look, there's another different kind of Diplo here. He's got a big freaking chin. Okay, that must be like the male or the female of the species. And actually, they're not a bad size. Oi, cat creature, you leave him alone. Yeah, Diplos are protected species on this planet. Well, they are why I'm here. Yeah, no one kills a Diplo while Captain Steve is on the planet. And heck no. They're quite lovely creatures. They're sort of like a greeny colour when the actual storm hits. I mean, as far as planets go, I'm not all that keen on the actual planet. It has, has to be said. I'm not a fan of the black and white or chromatic worlds. But now that the storm is hitting and it's getting its colour back, that's pretty cool. And the Diplos make it a nice addition. So yeah, if you do want to see Diplos in Origins and you're looking for them, there you go. There's the coordinates in the bottom left-hand corner. Come along. Awesome. Okay, Jumps, well, I think, I think I've had my fill on this planet. I need to actually name all these creatures. I'll see you when I get back to my ship, and I'll show you what I named all these beautiful, lovely creatures. Heck yes. Oh, cool. Watch out, Rob. And I'm say chromatic diplos. I know, freaking inventive. Heck yes. So we've got this little chappy here, and look at how awesome he is. And he's got blue blood, apparently. He's definitely got green skin. And Oh, he's one of the cutest diplos I think I've ever seen. He is really quite something, really quite sweet. Anyway, I called him Stego Diplo Cobra. And we've got this guy, Thunder Hump in Turtle Duck. Yep, I bet you saw that one coming. But this, I've called him Turtle Duck. Because <laughs> he does look like a turtle duck. And he, uh, he just got et alive by one of those. You, you saw that happen. Anyway, so there we go. I've only found three of the creatures on that planet. If you do want to come here, I gave the code earlier. It's all yours for the rest of the discovery. And yeah, yeah I, I'm just not into chromatic planets. And to find Diplos on a chromatic planet kind of makes me go, wow, and then also, no, at the same time. You know what I mean? Is this the last planet I've got to go to now? This one looks very much like the planet I just freaking landed on, if it is. Uh, no, apparently that's the Flora 3 one. Okay, well, there's one more planet to be found. I will find you... Well, I'll reconvene with you when I find it. Chums. Planet, chums. It looks like the rings of this ringed planet actually intersect the actual planet itself, which is crazy nonsense. Okay, well, let's uh, fly on down. I mean, look at that. The rings of the planet. Yeah, they engulf this planet, which is pretty damn freaking sweet. Oh, this looks like a, this looks like one of those ash worlds. Like a volcanic planet. Oh wow, and all the tips of the trees are like um, purple. So I'm wondering whether the volcanoes on this planet, whether they might be purple also. That'd be pre pretty damn sweet. A volcanic planet. No doubt about that. And uh, yeah. I'm wondering what all this basalt's for. I mean, you know, why? Just why do we need basalt? Who knows? Anyway, let's uh, skip this bit. Awesome. Right. Yeah, it's a bit hot here. It's extremely freaking hot. Really, 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 really warm. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, let's have a look at the Discoverers page. And let's have... Oh, there's eight fauna to be found here, but a lot of them are going to be underwater. So we've got flying, 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 flying. Underwater, underwater, under... So there's four underwater, which I'm not going to bother with. So I reconvene with you when I found some of these little flying creatures. To have four flying makes me wonder whether it might have either the awesome butterflies that fly and land, or maybe even the beetles. That'd be cool. Right, OK. Well, we can see lots of flying fauna uh, right away. I might not have to cut. I've, I might have found all four species. Let's just scan one and see if they all go green. Well, they went green. These ones didn't. OK, well, let's, let's, let's get scanning. Hold still, you little blighters. OK, they're not holding still. Um, I'm scanning a freaking rock. Damn it! Right, I'll tell you what, leave it with me. I, I will scan these freaking blips and dots and plips, and I'll be right back with you. See you in a bit. Okay, well, I've called this planet NMSA Ashbird. Heck yeah, so let's go and have a look at some of these. 
So we have ourselves a, a rock. A, mm, let's just select that one. A rock bite a bird because it says occasionally eats rocks. So there we go. A rock bite a bird. Then we've got this guy who's a two-tongued bird. Yep, I'm trying to come up with clever ways to say bird, chums, if you haven't noticed, and it's, it's not working. There we go, two-tongued bird. And then we got this guy, meteor bird, because why the heck not? Born on meteors. Uh, yeah, okay, born on meteors. I, I don't know how that works out for you guys. I mean, you know, if, if you hatch in eggs, eggs travelling on meteors, that, that's disaster waiting to happen. And then this one's an interesting one, because it senses the atlas. That's pretty damn sweet. So call that one Atlas Bird. Excellent. So they're the four different types of bird on this planet. There's also underwater creatures. But on this planet, there's nothing that wants to set foot on it. And I don't blame them. I mean, I've only been here like five minutes. And I don't want to set foot on it. I didn't move from that spot, chums. That, all those little plips and dots that you saw earlier, that was all four species of freaking bird. <laughs> yeah. So I can see why nothing wants to stand on this planet. Because it's freaking roasting. Anyway, let's uh, get into my ship. Uh, actually, I might as well say goodbye. This this is the last planet, isn't it? It really is. Yeah, so you guys out there have been freaking excellent. My feet are on freaking fire, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now. Goodbye all. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Thank you very much for watching this video and if you like what you see please hit a like or a subscribe and yeah or you can support my channel through patreon here are all my patreon backers thanking you patreon and oh, i also have youtube membership if you want to sign over to youtube membership check out my video links in my video description i also have merch grab yourself a fine and dandy pair of socks a mug or a t-shirt over my merch store or i also have atlas cards that i sometimes have my ebay store check out my video description so that is the end. Thank you for watching and please hit a join or a subscribe or just hit one of these tiles on the screen as you see here now. Stay with Captain Steve a bit longer.